Thanks for tuning in to Prosperity for America. Today, we're gonna to talk about career strategies for, for technical people like engineers who wanna move into engineering management. Now, a lot of times in the world, things don't go as you expect. One of the things that is very common for engineers is that you hire in out of college and you work for a company for three or five years and nobody considers you to grow into a senior level engineering position and then into engineering management. And, and that's a shame because the companies lose a lot of talent that way. But nonetheless, if you're confronted with that issue, uh, take a look at the current position that you took as your first position out of college. One of the, th the common things that happens is if a person happened to go and start their career at a very big company, what slows them down career-wise is that in a big company, you're dealing with obviously a lot more competition to get promoted in management, but even more, more hindering is the idea that you're siloed into very narrow things. Like if your engineering manager has 25 people in the department, you're only working on four to 8% of the department's work. And that work that you're working on may not encompass the other 90%. It can, but a lot of times you'll at, at best be exposed to 30 to 40% of the different types of engineering work in that department over a period of three to five years. This becomes the principal reason that you don't get a chance at that company to get promoted into being an engineering manager because you're not well-rounded enough within the engineering field to manage all the different types of expertises engineering-wise. For example, in an engineering department of 10 people, you will have probably people that are mechanical engineers, you'll have electrical engineers, You'll have manufacturing engineers, you'll have quality engineers, and you'll probably have a couple mechanical designers. So if you have two of each, there's 10 right there. And so you might not know much about quality engineering to supervise somebody. You might not know much about manufacturing engineering to supervise anybody. But the interesting thing about working at a smaller company is you're not as silent. So one of the things that can happen is Small companies love to pick up people from big companies because they think that they might bring some big ideas and big experience. And um, so, but it's actually a good career strategy because if you go from, if, you, you're for, if your career started out at a big company, engineering wise, and then you went to a smaller company where maybe the engineering department is only three to five people, but you got to be one of the senior people in that department, now you might get the types of projects that might encompass 80 to 90 percent of what goes on in that department and therefore get the chance within a couple of years to be the engineering manager of that of, of that department if especially if that engineering manager gets promoted in smaller companies it's much more common that the engineering manager would get promoted in operations management if they so choose if not you know, they might leave themselves to get a bigger opportunity at a bigger company. And so what you've done there is put yourself in a position where you'll get a more well-rounded experience by making your second stop in your career at a smaller company. So hence, going forward, what you want to do for the first 15 to 20 years of your career is start out with a big company, go to a smaller company, go back to a bigger company, because ironically, on that third move, the bigger company will actually pick the engineering manager from a smaller company before they'll promote someone in their department because the people underneath that engineering director, if that's what they're going to be, or engineering manager, if they, they might be very siloed. Matter of fact, they probably are very siloed to the extent that they're not ready to take over and manage people that know how to do things that that person hasn't been exposed to. So they'll pick the person who has the, had the title of engineering manager who was at a smaller company because actually their experience is more well-rounded and more prepared to be the engineering manager at the bigger company. So I just wanted you all to be aware of that. There are many different types of career strategies. And, and if you're out there and you're wondering what might be the kind of career strategy that would work for me, that's why we decided to talk about this. So 
We're gonna have more topics on this type of thing as to how to progress in your career. But today, well, all we talked about is how, if you're an engineer, how you could work and make your career changes get maximized so that you get to get to into management if that's what you so choose faster than if you stayed at one company for the whole 10 or 15 years. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to the Prosperity for America channel. And if you get a chance to subscribe, please do.